Null Composure is this season's ritual weapon. Null Composure is this season's pinnacle weapon. It's not a pinnacle. Null Composure is this season's pursuit Nailed it. weapon, a fusion rifle. Historically speaking, fusions and PvE content have not really mixed well. Loaded Question, a ritual weapon from a few seasons ago, shook that up a bit, giving us Reservoir Burst, the only fusion rifle perk that has felt like it has actually mattered in the history of fusion rifles. Not to mention it had auto-loading holster, which meant you could fire a bursted shot, stow it, let it auto-load you, and then you could take it out again for another huge chunk of damage. Reservoir Burst has made a return in Season 14, being a part of Null Composure. So... That must mean that Null Composure is good, right? Well, sort of, but also not really. Null Composure is a fast charging fusion rifle, meaning that its damage output is going to be lower than that of a slower charging fusion rifle on a per shot basis. Unfortunately, this means that Reservoir Burst is going to have a lower impact as a result since the base damage of this fusion is a lot lower than something like Loaded Question. The other perks on the weapon aren't too shabby, Feeding Frenzy or Heating Up, and then Reservoir Burst or High Impact Reserves. Feeding Frenzy meshes decently with Reservoir Burst as getting a kill enables a faster reload, which means priming another big burst shot. However, only getting one stack of Feeding Frenzy isn't exactly going to give you the biggest boost. Heating up requires multi-killing to really take advantage of. High impact reserves on a fusion is not as exciting in PvE, but in PvP can make getting kills slightly easier thanks to potentially needing one less beam to hit your target. Is what I would say if it really applied to this fusion rifle. High Impact Reserves gives you at maximum 37 damage per beam when normally you deal 35 per beam. 35 times 5 is 175, which is not enough for a one-shot burst with only 5 beams hitting. And 37 times 5 is 185, which is enough to kill the lowest of the low resilience players. But I don't know of many people who run that low of resilience in PvP. Unfortunately for Null Composure... Plug 1, a Nightfall weapon for this season, can also roll with Reservoir Burst, although its first column of main perks isn't the most exciting. Its second column can roll with some decent stuff though, Reservoir Burst, Backup Plan, the new perk Kickstart, which gives 20% bonus damage and faster charge speeds while sliding after sprinting for a short time, or a new perk called Cornered, giving faster charge times when surrounded. It is a slower firing fusion, which means that Reservoir Burst is going to hit much harder. Not only that, but it has a much more versatile perk pool than Null Composure, even though Null Composure is supposed to be a very curated experience. Fusions are still not a top PvE weapon choice, nor have they really been outside of Loaded Question. But even Loaded Question still had the stigma of being a fusion rifle. It was just one that you could actually use and be somewhat effective with. I don't see Null Composure really having that same luxury. I think it's a shame that Bungie didn't at least give fusion rifles some sort of seasonal mod like Overload Fusion Rifle given that Reservoir Burst is back in the game. I don't know how much people would have actually used it, but at the very least, it could have put the spotlight on fusion rifles and their lack of performance in that area. I get that the risk-reward situation is potentially similar to scout rifles. That is to say, something like a scout is going to do less damage than other primary weapons because you're able to use a scout at safer distances. You are trading the damage for safety. Fusions, I imagine, kind of work in a similar way. You trade damage for safety in that you don't need to be as close as a shotgun does to deal maximum damage. You also trade the ability to crit for higher body shot damage compared to a shotgun. The thing is though, if things are too unsafe for a shotgun, you're probably not gonna go fusion, you're probably gonna go sniper or special grenade launcher. And if it is safe for a shotgun, well, you're just gonna go shotgun. The thing here though, is that Null Composure does more damage than a shotgun in specific conditions. 
When testing on a random Lost Sector boss, Null Composure with Reservoir Burst did 34,006 damage in a shot. Without it, 27,202. Using a shotgun from this season, 31,154 for a crit, 17,753 for a body shot. Granted, this is a slug shotgun, but slug shotguns are the current hotness right now in PvE. The shotgun fires at 70 rounds a minute. That's about 1.2 shots per second, just under 1.2 shots per second, while Null Composure can fire 8 shots in 8.5 seconds, which is about 1.06 shots per second. Let's just call it one second, make it even. Shotgun DPS is in between 21 and 38,000, depending on hits versus crits, and Fusion DPS is a little above 27,000 if we include the Reservoir Burst shot. And we assume that you're hitting every single beam in every single shot. What this all means is that shotguns have a higher ceiling than fusions. And that's part of the reason why people use shotguns or slug shotguns at the least. Null Composure's DPS isn't really that bad, although it is in the bottom half of the shotgun's average. But it's the fact that shotguns can get things done just as well, if not better than Null Composure, and by extension, fusion rifles in general. The damage is instant, and the damage ceiling is higher thanks to the ability to crit. Fusions excel at non-critable target DPS, but there aren't that many non-critable targets in the game. I think seeing some sort of a buff to their damage that brings them to slightly above the average DPS of a shotgun would be a decent starter buff to fusions. But if after this long, fusions are still the way that they are, Perhaps Bungie doesn't want them to be more than what they are and what they have been. In PvP, I did not find the Null Composure experience to be the most enjoyable on PC when shotguns are still as strong as they are and when literally state... <sighs> I'm gonna start the whole video over. Null comp literally stasis. The only time fusions are really that good are to counter W key warriors sprinting at you with a shotgun from 50 meters out. Fortunately, due to high impact reserves being not really that much of a difference maker, the game makes the perk choice for you, which means you get to play the game of find the special ammo every single match. Otherwise, why bother? You know, like why take the time to strategically find the proper spacing on each map that gives you the advantage, practice your tracking, practice your timings, or anything at all when a shotgun or brain dead grenade launcher spamming around corners does more or less the exact same thing without as much effort. Unless you're putting up this fusion is insane, 47 kill gameplay videos, there's no point, there's just not. Also, Bastion exists and it's very good at spamming a bunch of crap at an enemy. 47 kills good is that a lot for a youtube video now i don't know 57 is that better 57 so if i were to pick plug one or null composure i would pick salvager salvo is this really a question this just turned into a grenade launcher video get clickbaited i assume we all know that salvager salvo is literally insane right ambitious assassin chain reaction remote detonation for more accurate shots spike grenades for direct impacts and then in Season 14, you have access to multiple mods that affect this grenade launcher or special ammo grenade launchers. Unstoppable grenade launcher. Breach and clear. Hello? Then energy accelerant whenever that becomes enabled again because they disabled it because it's broken. And War Mind's Decree if you have a deafening whisper from a couple of seasons ago. And then ignition code from Override. Like, oh my, we'll, we'll talk about that in another video. To actually answer the question, I think I'm taking plug one at the moment for PvE, at least until I'm able to test more. Fusions need some support like this, a real good looking at, similar to what Linear Fusions got recently and what Grenade Launchers got a little while ago. What is the function of a fusion rifle? Where does it fit in Destiny? What is it supposed to excel at? Sure, there are some PvP cases where people pop off with a fusion, but it's not really enough to be a problem, and most people are not really doing that in the first place. Utility-based fusions like this Shield Disorient Disruption Break one that I have from Garden are cool in theory, but in practice aren't useful often enough in higher end content to warrant using for entire runs, and in lower end content, 
I think people know my feelings on anything outside of Masters and GMs at this point. You can do whatever you want and it literally doesn't matter. Also, you can probably get that role on something else too. It doesn't need to be a fusion. Bastion did receive a buff with Season 14 though to receive Unstoppable Rounds as an intrinsic perk, which is a move I would call supporting fusion rivals. I have not play tested it just yet, so I can't really tell you how it's going. But generally speaking, it hasn't been the wisest idea to bring short range special weapons to master and GM content, which is just another thing fusions don't have going for them. Whatever their niche is, isn't really found in that kind of content. I don't think I really have that much else to say on null composure or fusion rifles in general. They are still in need of some help in PvE, at least in content that demands a decent loadout. You know, if you're running around in Override or whatever, it doesn't really matter. I hope Bungie is able to do with fusions what they did with grenade launchers because they had a massive turnaround and I would love to actually bring a fusion rifle to high-end PvE content and not feel like a detriment or that I'm wasting a slot, especially now with champion requirements demanding more curated loadouts. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.